Hey guys, it's Steve from Elysian Forge. Um, a couple of people have asked me about the strength of our curved cores for LARP weapons, so I thought I'd do a little video and talk a bit about it. So a couple of ways that you could go about trying to make a curved core. One would be to get a straight core and then try to bend it. So it's worth noting that the fiberglass is the fiberglass resin is not thermoplastic. It can't be heated and then bent and then set that way. Um, so you'd have to find some other material. I have tried uh, PVC and I've tried Delrin and a couple of others. I found for the most part that they were too floppy. They just weren't really stiff enough for LARP. Um, but also found the PVC just shattered. It, uh, as soon as I struck it, it just shattered. And I think one of the reasons is that um, when you bend the thing, you, you introduce tension into the front and compression into the back of the core just from being bent. So if you were to strike it, this part here that would normally be under tension is already under tension, so it's that much closer to breaking. So that's not really ideal. Um, the other thing is that uh, fiberglass is kind of the de facto standard material for core, cores for LARP weapons, so I feel personally that it really has to be fiberglass. So what you could try then is to take a plate of fiberglass and then cut the shape of a core out of it. And a couple of people have tried this already, and probably it works okay, but there's a problem, and that problem is that uh, the fiberglass plate, it has this, this weave pattern, fiberglass fibers in it, it's in a cross hatch. So if you were to cut that shape out, you'd find you're cutting across the grain. So you have this bit here, if you were to strike it there, this bit where you're cutting across the grain is likely to break and split and break, or more likely anyway. So another way you could do it would be to take a plate of like randomly arranged glass fibers like boat holes and things that like that have um, and then cut a core out of that so then you might find that there are a couple of fibers that are traveling along the length of the curve at any given point but really there would only be a few most of them would be kind of traveling in random directions like that so you'd have nearly the same problem uh, so another way you could do it would be to take straight sections and then add like a joint and another straight section joint straight section um, and a couple of manufacturers have made these as well, and they, they might work okay, I'm not really sure, but I think they're, they're just extra failure points, really, so it would be better if there was a core that just didn't have any joints, which is basically what we do in a patent-pending uh, process. So industrially produced uh, cores, uh, the fibers just all parallel, they all run the full length of the core like that, and they're set in a resin, so it's very strong. So we produce them the same, we just produce them in a bent shape. So there's no tension and compression, it hasn't been bent after the fact, um, it's been produced that way. So fibers run the full length, so it's quite strong. And we're going to try to find out just how strong. So here's one of our cores, we're going to go and try to hit it against stuff and try to make it break and see what it takes to bend it and break it. Okay, here we go. So we've got one of our cores. This is a Shamshir core. We're going to try to break it. Okay, keep going. All right, go on, put your back into it. <laughs> put some goggles on the rock. Rock has 100 HP remaining. <laughs> 98.5. Critical. 96. We're gonna see what it see what it breaks. When see when it breaks. Okay, who's next? Thanks, Dylan. Well done. We're getting there, slowly but surely. Somebody uh, well. You probably want to go. Uh, do you want to put uh, put on your eyewear? Oh yeah, also. There we go. Yeah, hey, there we go. That's a fine hit. Well done. Thank you.
Uh, Trying to give that a good kick. Okay. Well, that was just That was that bit. No, step on the other side. <laughs> Wasn't even in. Might have been an internal. Nope. Jack refused. Well, I am keen for your unbreakable arms. That sounds good. Yeah. yeah How's the foam holding up? Because that's, that's pretty, pretty really good. Do you mind if I give it a swing or two? Oh, I don't Please mind. Of course. Of course. The shock translation is quite good, so yeah, you've got it. More violence. That's on the tariff, that could just be It's like taking the edge off. Yeah. Yep, okay, keep going. So that's also like full force on a. Sharp rock. We, could, Sharp rock. we could whack it on the tow wire handle, that'll uh, probably hold it a little bit better. No, it's, it's, it's not, not too bad. Alright. Did you turn the handle around? Huh. Speed it back into some mission. Now I'll hold this, I want to go. Yeah? yeah. Come on, man, with some violence. There we go. Oh,